Hey, how's it going guys? From the last video, we learned how to create a project. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a credential uh, on the Google project. So here I'm on the console.cloud.google.com and here you want to choose the project that you want to create a credential under. So here I'm going to use the project that I created from uh, video number one, which is the previous video and Google API uh, for sales and click on that project. So here there should be a hyperlink. Let's click on that. Now um, click on the navigation menu icon. And next you want to go down to APIs and services. Here you want to go down to credentials. You'll need the credentials being able to uh, access the Google APIs. And if you are creating web applications, so uh, any desktop application that will be used by third party or, or users other than yourself, then there's a different uh, type of credentials that you can create. For the API key, uh, that's the credential, kind of like a user uh, and password. And if you use the API key as a credential, Google Cloud Platform will provide a, a client ID as well as a, a secret client ID as well. And that's equivalent to your user ID and password. The API key is best for when you are using the application just purely for yourself. But if you are uh, distributing your application to third party or uh, somewhere else, then you want to use the OAuth client ID uh, option. Using the OAuth client ID, you'll be requesting uh, application permission from users. And for the service account key, and this one, I have never used this one before, so unfortunately, I cannot give you any type of information. Your best bet will be uh, go to google.com and just do some Google search. I think that should give you the information that you are looking for. Now, since I'm intending to uh, distribute this to um, a third party, I'm going to choose OAuth client ID. And here, we need to, uh, to create our OAuth client ID you must first set a product name on the consent screen. So that means we need to give our application name. So here, click on the configure consent screen. Now we need to, first of all, so let me zoom in a little bit more. And here, the first uh, step is we need to give our application a name. So here, I'm just going to call this uh, J's Google application. When you are requesting a user's permission uh, on a browser, the user is going to see the application name, uh, which is uh, J's Google application. And here we can also provide an application logo. But I'm going to skip the logo for now and support email. So this is the email that uh, you will be using as the uh, primary email account that associated to your application. And for the remaining, we can just leave those alone. And here, the scope is the permission setting. So with each application, you can uh, request different level of permission. So you can request a read-only permission, or you can request uh, full permission, which giving you the access to uh, write or read or uh, update a user's account's information. So here, I'm going to uh, leave this alone. Because later on, when I teach you guys how to use different uh, Google APIs like Google Sheets, Google Doc, uh, Google Calendar, Gmail, we'll be implementing the scope inside the Python program. And we can leave all this alone unless you are building a web application. And in that case, you will need to provide the, uh, the required information to the uh, authorized domains and homepage and so on. Now click on Save. And here uh, we need to create our all our client ID. So at this point, you are basically uh, creating your user credential. So here, uh, since I'm just creating kind of like a my own desktop application, so I'm going to choose other. But here I'm just going to type uh, JS desktop application. And click on create. 
Okay, now uh, once you uh, create your uh, account or credential, and here's going to see the OR client uh, information page. And here's your client ID, and here's your client secret. So the client secret, like I said, is equivalent to uh, your username and password. And you can create up to 100 uh, accounts on the project. And if you need to increase the limit, uh, I think you will also have to email Google uh, Google support service and to increase the limit. Now click on OK. We don't need to copy um, the information to your notepad. So click on OK. And here we do need to do uh, one more thing. What I like to do is I like to create uh, my credential as a JSON file. So here on the right hand side, uh, if you can see this uh, download JSON icon and click on that and save the, the JSON uh, credential file somewhere in your drive. And here uh, we need to rename the file as just client secret. And here I already uh, create a folder just to uh, just for later tutorials showing you guys how to uh, use different APIs uh, in Python. But here I'm just going to override my uh, current client service uh, JSON file. So save. And that's it. At this point, we can basically start uh, writing our Python program to integrate with different uh, Google API services. And for the future videos, I'll be basically teaching you how to integrate uh, different Google API service uh, in Python.